Good morning, lovely and beautiful people. It is my last day in San Francisco today. Um, in fact, I'm not even going to be in San Francisco today. My last day waking up here. I'm headed to Santa Cruz for an amazing day trip with a friend that I met while I was traveling in Thailand, actually. Uh, my beautiful friend, Cindy. Um, she's super lovely. She's invited me to come on a day trip with her and him, um, and I can't wait to see Santa Cruz. I'm very excited to see it. So this is how I let myself move on to the next place, is when, number one, I can't rebook the hostel that I'm currently staying in. <laughs> so they're fully booked, so I take that as a sign that I should move on. Number two, I'm just kind of, I'm kind of okay. I'm kind of done with, <laughs> not in a bad way, but I'm, I've, yeah, I feel like I've seen San Francisco, at least all of it that I want to see right now. So I'm going to be going back to LA on an overnight bus tonight. But before that, I'm just going to have a day trip in Santa Cruz. Um, and I welcome you to come with me. I'm not sure how much filming I'll do because I just want to catch up with her, enjoy the day. Um, but if I do film some, I will, yeah share it with you guys. Look at this view by the way. I moved hostel rooms. Look at that view out the window. So I'm actually repeating an outfit today because obviously I didn't pack, you know, unlimited resources. So I'm repeating this outfit because I found it really comfortable and cute. Um, got my sunnies on my head. Forever 21. Um, pretty little thing I think. Pre-mark and pre-mark. So yeah, ready to face the day. I love this top so so much it is super cute and um, see so yeah, i'm just gonna go check out and then we're gonna head off to santa cruz and i'm very excited yay this is the room that i changed to it's got like its own bathroom inside which is pretty neat shower that was my bed no longer my bed anymore Perfect picnic spot, and you can see the beach down there. Super gorgeous. Let's go. Here in Santa Cruz, um, looking like a right tourist in my skirt because <laughs> everyone else is dressed like it's winter. But again, this is probably British summer, so I feel absolutely fine. Um, I'm here with Sid and her mum, and we had such a nice little drive down. Um, it's so so nice to be able to see her and to catch up with her. Like. Oh my gosh, she's such a cute. I will see if she wants to like say hi to the vlog a bit later. We're currently trying to find like some tree that apparently like butterflies migrate to. I'm sorry, you probably can't see me, but I don't really want to walk backwards. We're going to see um, a tree that apparently butterflies migrate to at this time of year or migrate from. I don't know, I'm just following the area. It's beautiful. And she did say that people are really friendly here. And it's true, like people just say hi, which is really nice. Um, it's just so beautiful. It's like a nice coastal town. And um, the air is really like crisp and fresh. And yeah, I'm super excited. I will show you how our travels go. <laughs> the sanctuary sh shelters the butterflies from chilly coastal winds, captures warmth from filtered sunlight, and supplies nourishment to sustain them during their stay. The migratory monarchs are usually here during fall and winter months. Oh. Let's go it. see some butterflies. In October and January, I get to look at a lot of Is there like a call you can do for them to get them to come near? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> yeah, that totally worked. Look at all the butterflies just swarming us right now. Oh, can you see it? We're getting closer to the butterfly tree. Precious place in the shelter of canopy. Can you see it really close through there? Oh, thank you. <laughs> can you actually see it really well? You can see that they're clumped. I want to have a look. It's like a scene out of Avatar. So peaceful. Why do they come to this tree again? Oh, hello, doggy. Hello. <laughs> oh. Teddy's adorable. He's so strong. How old is he? He is six. Oh. Yeah. I know he's big. He's, he's big beautiful. He's so grateful for the attention. <laughs> you can never wait, attention. <laughs> <laughs> this is gorgeous. I really hope you can see this properly on camera. I'm not sure if you can, but it's just like loads of butterflies. Look how amazed she is. 
Ooh, that looks nice with like the sun flooding in. I can't tell if you can see anything on this camera right now, but I'm trying. You need to do your butterfly song. You show them your butterfly now. <laughs> Go again. <laughs> Go again. <laughs> one more time. One more time. <laughs> It'll just land on you if you do it. It'll if you like hold out your hand and go ka ka three times. I, I feel like I need to sing a little bit more like a Disney princess. Though. Do it, okay? Take your hat off and just go I need like to serenade them. Aladdin. Wait, what's the woman in Aladdin? Jasmine. Jasmine. Go Jasmine on them. <laughs> Show these butterflies how it's really done. Be oh my God! Wow. <laughs> Wow. I'm not gonna lie, when you said there was a butterfly tree, I didn't quite believe you. I thought we were gonna come and see like one or two butterflies. I'll be like, yeah, this is awesome. <laughs> but this is actually awesome. Wow. It's gorgeous. Yeah, she was just like. I was literally like a butterfly tree. That sounds like something out of a movie. I don't think that's a thing. <laughs> Yeah, how they did together like that. It's like a vast butterfly orchid. That was really helpful. I didn't know that. I did not know that. So, I... Yay! Kind of. It's really difficult to get it without like a reflection. Oh, yeah. Oh my gosh. So, this is the view. This is like a video. Oh my. This is the view through the telescope. It's hard to get, but hey, I tried. <laughs> Beautiful. So beautiful. Whenever I look out at the sea, I always just wonder, like, who's out there? Who is out on that coast looking back at me? What's the story? Have I had a good day, a bad day? I think this might be one of the most gorgeous coastal walks ever. It's absolutely stunning. <laughs> what a cutie. What a gorgeous house. This is just super cute. Oh my goodness, I can't deal. I love how all the houses are different. It's so cute. Imagine the summer barbecues. We're going to the mystery spot. I feel like in this vlog, I might have to put a spoiler alert. So if anyone else wants to come to the mystery spot, I don't ruin it for them. Right, it looks pretty cool so far. I'm really good at like. Okay guys, do not say I didn't warn you, this is your spoiler alert. I recommend that if you want to go to the mystery spot and have it all the year, huge surprise, that you stop the video here and thank you so much for watching. However, if you do want to go to the mystery spot, I don't think this will ruin it for you, to be completely honest. Like, it was a really cool surprise, um, but I still would go again even knowing what it was. In fact, this was the second time that Sid had gone, so if you're not sure and you're just curious, then yeah, keep watching. I don't think it will make it a completely wasted trip i would still go even if i had known what it was okay enjoy <laughs> keeping it from it keeping it keeping the lid on even for myself when i like yeah you know, i'm like i could have easily been like what is and what's yeah Oh, do you know what? I'm glad I forgot, to be fair, that we're coming here. I would have Googled it and spoiled it for myself. <laughs> I'm so no, that person. No. I'm so that person. I'm glad you forgot. <laughs> I love surprises and I love being surprised, even though it drives me nuts. <laughs> 
Mystery Spa. Oh my god. Best day ever, guys. <laughs> We've got some veggie chili dogs, which is apparently a hot dog with beans and chili. And then what what was this? Nachos. Nachos, chili nachos. chili nachos. And I've got an Angus burger, but to be honest, I want that, but whatever, we'll pretend that's okay. <laughs> and then we got some hot drinks and this while we wait for our tour in the mystery spot. Our tour is about to start. We're gonna see the mystery. What is it? This is the happy tour dance. Show us the happy tour dance then. Yes, get it girl, get it girl. <laughs> and thus began the tour. So how it works is that you pay eight pounds in mission per person and you go in and you have a tour guide. All the tour guides were so funny and chatty and really sweet. Our tour guide was lovely, she was so kind. And um, so they basically talk you through the history of the place and explain it all. Now, I'm not gonna show you this whole video, otherwise it would literally just be like the whole thing. Uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna speak over it and kind of summarize really poorly what she explained to us. So she explained to us the history of this place, that there's something weird about this spot, about this area. And she makes us walk up this really steep hill. And the closer you get to completing the hill the harder it gets so to walk up as though something is pulling you backwards and it's like whoa what the hell that's super weird and I was just like okay that's weird like we're walking up a hill though that's probably why it's hard so I didn't really think much of it and then as the tour goes on she goes on to explain to you how this area has a really weird gravitational pull which pulls you I don't know if it was towards or away from the area and so all the trees around the area are pointing in a weird direction around this mystery spot and it affects our bodies too and you don't even you notice it happening but you can't really resist it because it's just a weird gravitational pull and she went on to show us loads of examples for example they would um make a stand and look at our feet then turn another way and look at our feet and we would notice that actually we could see less of our feet when we were stood another way because we were all leaning as you can see and it was so weird how it worked like you'd think that this wasn't a thing but it was totally a thing you guys and it wasn't just because we were stood on a hill and um, she then went on to do loads of other demonstrations where she showed us a surface that was flat and she would use like a leveler like you know like a building tool a leveler to show us that it was a flat surface and yet we would all still be leaning even when we were on that flat surface i was shook if you guys as you will see i was completely shook and i will show you in the following videos how it all worked <laughs> It's just like easy. Do I want to walk? That's like a tip. Yes. Yes. So if you put your left foot on this. Yeah. Right all down more than the same height. You guys look your left, look your right. And they're now about the same height as you. Oh, I don't get it. I'm so confused right now. I got it. Yeah. 
Spot was ridiculous, actually ridiculous. We're all like 
so confused. <laughs> Still confused. We're just gonna, it's super confused. We're just gonna go see the sunset on this lighthouse, which looks absolutely gorgeous. It looks beautiful. Um, it's been the best day, the best day. <laughs> I'll show you the sunset now because I'm running out of memory. I've taken so many pictures and so many videos. But if you ever want to go see the mystery spot, highly recommend it. Even if this video has spoiled it for you, still go see it because, oh my God, that sunset. I can't with this world, you guys. Oh my God. Do you want to see? Gorgeous. Super gorgeous. Did you take the car? Oh, it's quite far, is it? We want to get there. We're going to try catch the rest of that sunset from the lighthouse. Yeah. And since Mum has just like bombed it down there because she doesn't want to miss it we went to like the wrong place first and she was like palpitating like we're gonna miss the lighthouse <laughs> so she's literally like i can't even can't even see her anymore like <laughs> oh it's beautiful oh my goodness and that is where i'm gonna end today's vlog I absolutely loved my day trip to Santa Cruz and I'm so so grateful to Sid and her mum for letting me crash on their day and join them. As much as I love all the amazing things that I get to see and do while travelling, it really is the people that's the best bit and I feel so grateful to have met these two. Thanks for watching, see you in Santa Monica.